This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video quick tip. Today in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this kind of highlighting matte text effect within After Effects. You're probably thinking, oh, this is a very easy thing to do. And it is, but I wanna show you possibly a quicker way to do it, a cleaner way of doing it. And so I first saw this quick tip on Twitter by Paul Conigliero here. He posts a lot of cool quick tips on Twitter, um, as well as a lot of cool tools you can download for free over on his website, which will be linked down below in the description. But basically he posted this tweet right here showing um, people how he does this effect very quickly in his projects. And I started incorporating this into my project as well. I don't want to share it with you guys today. He actually created an automated script that actually does this for you called Matlock. You can download it for free. And basically it's a headless script which you can run on KBar or um, FT Toolbar and such. And you can actually run it. And there's a few options that you can read down here that does this kind of for you. I wanna show you how it kind of works in After Effects here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit P on the keyboard and I'm just going to delete the keyframes of this matte bar right here. I'm gonna push it to the side and I'm going to delete the set matte effect on the text layer and these. And so basically we just have this little text animation right here and we have this shape layer right here. And so basically we want to highlight the text with uh, the bar right here. So. Um, how we do that is that we're going to use something called mats and you're probably familiar with the track mats. The problem with track mats is that it's kind of layer order sensitive, right? So um, I can take this bar and set the track mat and it's going to use the layer above it as the luminance or the alpha channel as the mat. And so basically it's always a layer above it that's using it as a mat. And so you're kind of limited on what to do. People duplicate layers all the time and put them in the right order and it gets kind of messy. Um, and you know, it has to be in the right order, but basically using the set mat effect under the channel set mat, basically you can define which layer is the mat layer for your layer. And it doesn't need to be right above it in the layer stack. And uh, it's a pretty underutilized effect, pretty powerful. Um, and I started using it a lot more, but basically set mat, I'm gonna apply it to the bar right here. I'm gonna tell it to take the data for its own mat to text two, which is this layer right here and I'm going to invert it. I'm gonna do the same thing, copy this, paste it into my text too, which is this text right here. And I'm gonna tell it to take the data from the bar. And so the key point is make sure that the they are pointing at each other for the mat and make sure that it's inverted. And just like that, if I take this text layer and I just move it across, you can see the kind of effect that's happening here. It's very clean, it's procedural. Um, and there's no duplicating of layers or anything like that or any no, no fancy sensitive uh, order stacking and you get this really cool effect here. So that's pretty much the whole magic behind uh, these two effects. A really cool quick tip by Paul over here. So I really appreciate that. Um, if you guys wanna stay around, I am gonna try to explain for those who are kind of interested um, basically how it works or if you're confused on the mechanism behind this here. So I'm going to go to text two and I'm gonna turn off the set mat and I'm gonna raise the bar on top. I'm gonna to change the bar to red just to show you guys exactly how this works. I mean, it's good to kind of have a general understanding of how this works. Um, so you can apply it in your future projects in different ways. So I'm gonna uninvert the mat right here. So basically this is just a standard set mat effect. Um, and the mat is a text layer right here. So basically um, the first step here is the set mat effect uses um, the text layer as a mat, right? So wherever the text layer is, that's where the bar is gonna show. But if we invert it, it's the exact opposite. Wherever it's transparent um, for the text layer, that's where the red is gonna show. This is where the bar is gonna show. So by sending it to invert mat, we're basically doing a cutout, right? So it's cutting out where the text is and the rest is the bar. And so knowing that, we can actually do that twice, right? We can, we can go into we can turn off this set mat and go to the text layer, turn it on, uninvert it. And um, it's basically the same thing here. So wherever this bar is transparent, this text is gonna show. So right now the bar is nowhere in this position. So the text is gonna be invisible. But if we move the bar under, you can see that it's showing the text. So same thing. Um, but if we invert it for the text layer, wherever the bar is, it's gonna be cut out, right? 
And we already talked about that. When it's inverted, it's kind of like a cutout effect. So if we combine this both, so both have um, a matte layer and both are inverted and they're pointing at each other, you get kind of this effect right here. So as the bar moves, the bar is getting cut out, right? And, and um, since the text layer is also inverted, wherever the bar isn't here, the text shows because now whenever the bar comes, it's a cutout effect for the text as well. So the bar is set to inverted so that when it gets to the text layer, um, the bar itself gets cut out by the text layer. And the text layer is set to inverted so that when the bar is not there, it shows, right? And then when the bar comes, the text is cut out. And so you're seeing the background right there. And that is pretty much generally how that works here. I don't know if that confused you guys a lot more. Um, that kind of confused myself too, but basically that's just how it works. Try to you know break it down, understand the invert mat and how it kind of works in the set mat effect. But this is pretty pretty much how you create that nice kind of mat effect. Two effects pointing at each other with an inverted mat. Very quick, very simple. Mad props to Paul. Again, he's a script that automates this. So check it out. Links in the description down below. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing, beautifully crafted, professionally designed themes for your websites, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without any coding experience required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, you can save 10% off your order if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout if you want to support the show. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the power of the set mat effect. If you like these quick tip videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon to get notified of all of our uploads. But that's pretty much it, guys. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time.